Hi, in this video, I'll talk about uh, this as proc, uh, proc and disk. Uh, proc and disk uh, is a canonical uh, discriminate analysis uh, procedure in SAS. It's used for uh, uh, dimension reduction uh, uh, for, for a huge, you know, huge number of variables. Um, so what do you mean by dimension reduction technique is that it is used to reduce uh, a large uh, number of variables into a small number of composite variables um, <clears throat> so what is a composite variable it's nothing but a combination of the uh, original variables so what it does is that it finds the linear combination of the quantitative variables uh, on the basis that uh, the combination the composite variables provide maximum separation between the classes so um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's a technique that is used uh, in a data set where you have some classification uh, it uses the Mahalanobis distance between the classes uh, for uh, separating uh, separating the classes and the technique is very much uh, similar to the principal component analysis wherein uh, also we get a combination of variables uh, to get the uh, composite variables which is instead used in place uh, in place of the original variables so finally what we get is the uh, canonical component and the canonical weights uh, canonical components can be used for uh, you know further modeling exercises for this illustration i'll take a uh, data set from the uh, sasl the iris data which is uh, very famous um, um, we have you i mean uh, this data is also used for cluster analysis and discriminant analysis uh, just to show you the data set uh, it has got uh, uh, the different species, uh, flower species, and their corresponding length, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. There are three categories in all, uh, so those uh, three flower categories uh, and their corresponding uh, width and length. Uh, syntax uh, is like this proc and disk data, their input data. If you want to save, then I have to uh, mention the uh, data set name distance which compute the Mahalanobis distance and ANOVA for comparison of the means. Uh, the class variable is species of course and the quantitative variables are sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. So when we run this uh, we will get uh, uh, an output like this. Uh, the initial statistics about uh, the different variables followed by the uh, um, Mahalanobis distance which says that how separable the two categories are. You can see the separation between Virginica and Setosa is 178, very significantly high, so quite different in that sense. Um, some univariate uh, tastes. Uh, and then, then we'll get the canonical uh, correlations. You can see there are two correlations significant uh, here. The first and second, I guess uh, after that all, all of them are in sigma. The first two are significant. Looking at the p-value, you can get to know. So uh, the first one uh, is of course very, very highly significant with 0.98 correlation. And the second one is 0.46. So the canonical correlations, uh, as I said, uh, talks about that how canonical variables are correlated with uh, the, um, you know, the original variables. So uh, so finally, we'll have two canonical variables in place of four uh, original variables. I know that's why we call it as a reduction technique, where you know we come down from four variables to two variables now. Um, the canonical structure can be studied for uh, you know grouping purposes and also to see like how uh, the original variables are correlated to the canonical variables and the strength of the relationship. So finally, what we'll be getting is that uh, if you look at the output data set, uh, the output data set is uh, uh, out can, you can see it here. So you have the canonical variable one and canonical variable two, uh, their uh, com the values, composite values. Um, so in place of this very original variables, we can actually use this canonical variables for the, uh, you know, for any predictive modeling. Uh, you know, we get the same kind of variables even in factor analysis, even in principal component analysis, the composite variables. So, uh, pretty much similar to that. Of course, we can uh, uh, 
there is uh, some you know mathematical differences in terms of the estimation uh, where in principal component we uh, we maximize the total variance here uh, uh, the intention is to you know uh, I mean the estimation is based on uh, the uh, you know the separation of means and variance between the classes so uh, that's the mathematical difference uh, but pretty much the use is same thank you